Hi and welcome again to next part of our SPI matrix tutorial. Today I will show you how to use this device with popular mapping software matrix. For the demonstration we again picked a small rectangle which consists of four smaller rectangles. In total that is 256 diodes. This is the main interface of matrix. Imagine that it is a mix pot where you can fade and cut between effects like a DJ. On the left side of each panel you have your color effects library and banks with different effects. Firstly, open device manager in preferences. Here you will add your SPI matrix device. To be able to work with Artnet, hit enable in Artnet section. Then hit search to find your device on the network. SPI matrix has four outputs and each output has a designated number of universes. To set up the exact number of pixels in your project, open Web Configuration tool. In Artnet section, you will find all necessary settings. To test if you have correct color order and IC type, scroll through the test patterns. If your LEDs are too bright, go to All Settings and lower Global Brightness. Keep the testing color on and set the value to your liking. Don't forget to hit Stop Test button. Back in Artnet section, select Used Output. There, set up your starting universe and calculate total number of pixels. As mentioned previously, we have four smaller rectangles. In total, we have 256 diets and we are using two Artnet universes. Now it is time to start mapping in Patch Editor tool. Matrix size represents your actual fixtures or your LED pixels. You can also adjust the size of your workspace. Start adding the pixels by hitting the plus button. Select generic 1x1 one one fixture. Set up the size of the first rectangle and its position in the matrix. Add some color effect to test if you have mapped your segment correctly. You can either use single color or some pattern. The later is actually better, because it will also tell you if you have set the correct signal flow. Continue with second segment. Change the position and size accordingly. To set up the starting DMX channel correctly, simply add three channels to the last channel used for previous pixel. If done properly, next segment will light up immediately. Continue with next segment. Again, your first channel can be calculated by adding three channels to the last used channel for the last pixel.
Now we overlap to the second universe because we already used more than 170 pixels. So go to second universe list and add 3 to the last pixels used. Don't forget that the starting universe for the last segment is second universe. Matrix is a very popular software indeed. That is why we made SPI Matrix compatible with this piece of software. Matrix is great, but it takes some time to learn how to properly use it as with any new skill. You can check out Ledstrip Studio software, where mapping a rectangle in this example will take you a minute or two. It is built like a paint tool, where you can also draw multiple lines at once. This way, you only select horizontal lines tool, set up the number of diodes and rows and apply your effect. Different approach, but very similar results. And you can also use it with Artnet protocol. Check out our product web, where you can find basic tutorials on most of the major and popular LED pixel mapping software.